Brad Pitt is bringing a, a rare neurological disorder to the forefront right now. He now says that he's struggling with a condition that makes it very hard for him to remember the faces of other people. That's right. And so how can you get a treatment for that? What is it? We get the answers from Dr. Mark Alberts. He is the chief of neurology at Hartford Hospital. Dr. Alberts, thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Um, so first of all, let's talk about it. What is this and how do you get it? Right. The formal name is called prosopagnosia or facial blindness. What it is is that it's a difficulty with your mind, your brain, recognizing the faces of people. It's a very rare, very unusual disorder. Typically, the most common thing is that folks are just born with it. That's called developmental uh, disease. Or they could acquire it from a stroke, a head injury, a brain tumor, something like that. So, doctor, it's a matter of, of at some point, apparently here in, in Brad Pitt's case, um, just suddenly looking at people and not being able to identify who they are, even though you may have known them for a long, long time. That's absolutely correct. If this is acquired because of some brain injury or some insult that he's had, yes. And so what are the treatments for that, especially as an actor? I can imagine that might be difficult when you have co-stars, you're dealing, I mean, someone like him, one of the most recognizable people on the planet, Please. people talking to him all the time. Um, yeah, how do you cope with something like this? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Stephanie. It's very debilitating because you can't recognize somebody that you may have known for 10 or 20 years and people come up to you and they introduce themselves and you frankly don't know who they are. There is no good medical treatment for this. There's some types of rehabilitation where you train people to recognize like somebody's eyes or their nose. Sometimes they can recognize them by their hairdo, for example. But it can be quite challenging. It can lead to depression and anxiety because from a social point of view, it can obviously be very challenging. Doctor, what, what advice would you give people who, who maybe at home think they're experiencing some of these symptoms? Um, and really, how common is this? It's a relatively rare disease, Mark. And um, as we were talking about, you can be born with it. And then perhaps as you get older, it becomes more apparent or more debilitating. In terms of treatments for it, it's really rehabilitation, trying to train your brain, your mind, to recognize other facial features or other features besides the face. Like, as I said, a hairdo or maybe how big their nose is or something like that. And sometimes audio cues based on what you're hearing that can cue you in to the person that you're talking to. Well, I can see why it would be traumatizing for sure. Yeah, no very confusing what. too. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us on this Friday night. We appreciate your time. Thank you.